This is CES MMA. Here is our Kentucky Fried Chicken tail of the tape. Three rounds in the middleweight division. Todd the Hulkster tail making his return to the cage. He's 12 and 10 with nine knockouts, weighing in at 186 yesterday. And he faces the tough veteran Nuri Shakur. 17 fights, 17 wins rather, eight by knockout. He also weighed in at 186. Let's send it down to Adam Palacio for the official introduction. And this is the KFC bout of the evening. This fight is scheduled for three rounds in the middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in at 185 and a half pounds, a veteran of 38 professional fights, with eight wins coming by way of knockout. Hailing from Andover, Massachusetts, ladies and gentlemen, Nuri Mako Shakur. And his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner, weighing in at 186 pounds with a professional record of 12 wins and 10 losses with nine wins coming by way of knockout. Hailing from Pawtucket, Rhode Island, ladies and gentlemen, Todd the Hulk Chateau! Tell them to the rules of locker room. Be my commands all time. Protect yourselves all time. If you want to touch those doing now? You want to touch them. Welcome back to Twin River Casino CES MMA 26. Mike Parenti joined by Scott Ream. And right now you're watching Todd Chattel in the camouflage trunks taking on Nuri Shakur in the white. Scott, this is Todd's first fight since January when he broke his hand in a loss to Shedrick Goodridge, took some time to heal, and here he is back in the cage in October, 10 months later. Well, it's good to see Todd back and healthy. And it's, uh, it, it's great for me to see Nuri. I knew Nuri was here just a, a couple months ago in a tough loss, but Nuri's been around a long time, and believe it or not, when I first started, um, you know, we used to train with Nuri way back in the day. Nuri's something else, boy. And Nuri Shakur's amateur career dates back to the 90s, made his debut in 2000. He and Todd are the same age, but Nuri Shakur has more than twice as many fights, 38 pro fights under his belt. Nuri was fighting back when you couldn't throw punches. You had to throw open hand <laughs> palm strikes, man. So Nuri Shakur certainly knows his way around the cage. The record, obviously, in this case, again, a deceptive record. He is a tough veteran. He was here in August on CES MMA's Axis TV, uh, TV debut on the undercard of that, uh, that, that card and a loss to Eric Spicely. And again, we mentioned Chattel having that inactivity due to the broken hand. And that's, that loss was part of a tough stretch in which he's lost four of his last six fights. If you go back to 2011, Chattel had won four fights that year. He was a perfect 4-0. Seemingly on the rise, and he's had some setbacks since then. He's had the injuries, and as time has progressed, it's certainly been tough sledding for the Hulk. But here he is looking to get back in the win com. He still has that tremendous knockout power, Scott. Nine of his wins have come by, none of those 12 wins have come by knockout. Yep. Both fighters look really content on keeping it on their feet tonight, too. And certainly that's where Chattel would want it. And I believe, if I'm correct, it took Chattel almost. 15 pro fights before he got his first submission win. Oh, big right hand to counter that rear left, that rear leg kick, I should say. Biggest blow of the night thus far by Nuri Shakur. He's got a very quick jab, Nuri, off that straight right hand. Again, this is Chattel's first fight since January. Hasn't won since last October. Looking to get back in the win column tonight. Trying to get lucky win number 13. Chattel. 
tell what a nice combination. Goes right to Ty Plum and lets it go. Left hand, right hand, then drives the knee upstairs. Nice rear leg. <laughs> Shakur kind of giving him that look on the way out. Oh, nice right-left combo by Shakur. You just see how nice and quick it is, and Nuri more than willing to mix it up. Incredibly fast hands, somewhat deceptive. You expect that from featherweights, not uh, necessarily the middleweights. Let me tell you, you're going back at a time when it was Nuri Shakur, Mike Brown, Jorge Rivera, um, just Matt and Lee. This is going back to the MSA, the Master Mission Academy. These guys were just... Uh, Nuri Shakur fought on cards here in Rhode Island with Jorge Rivera. Yeah. Other UFC vets. Uh, it's amazing when you look back at some of the names who were on those cards before mixed martial arts was legal in Rhode Island. It's amazing the pedigree of fighters on display. So you, you're what, right. He it, definitely goes a long way back with some stout veterans. Even in Massachusetts, it was, it was legal but not sanctioned. In fact, <laughs> even when I was fighting, and Nuri was fighting before that. Chattel starting to unload here in the final yeah. minute. Now Nuri's just... The nice, good idea by Chattel to change to elbows because Nori's blocking those knees and he comes right back. Shakur with that quick right hand out of the clinch. You're right, Scott. He answers right away. Another combination. Final 30 seconds here. Nori's the type of fighter where Chattel's throwing those knees. Nori's just blocking them very well. They're not, there's a combination by Nuri. Big right-left combo by Shakur, closing out strong here in round number one. Good head movement there again, ducking that overhand right. You're seeing the quick hands and the head movement by Nuri Shakur. You're seeing that veteran presence on display with standing a nice flurry from Chattel and striking back immediately. He defends very well, takes the, almost a boxer's idea, stay in the pocket, cover up well, and fire back. Round number one of the books. Solid first round for both sides. Let's listen in to Tosh. He's, he's looking for that takedown. You, you got to play one guy at a time. Okay. Stay calm. Go for crazy. Uppercut. You go inside. Uppercut. You elbow. You need to. You uppercut first. Uppercut left hook and knee. Inside. You need to. You do everything good. Everything's going great. Round number two underway. Tosh Chattel taking on Nuri Shakur in the middleweight division. Mike Parenti joined cage side by Scott Ream for CES MMA 26. Nice back and forth round. Solid exchanges by both sides. Absolutely. In the first five minutes of this fight. Chattel's corner called for uppercuts and body. Go to the body. We'll see if Chattel heeds that advice against Shakur, the 38 fight veteran. Both you, have fighters. An, you have an orthodox fighter fighting a southpaw. If you're Todd, you want to throw, you want to double up the right hand, there's your uppercut that the corner called for. You want to double up your right hand, follow with the left to finish. But if you're Nori, you want to turn around and you want to lead with that left hand. Double up the left hand, but Nori's landing the jab. So if you watch the foot, you want to beat your guy to the outside, that's traditional. Nori does not. Nori is coming to the inside because the jab's landing. So his, as you know in boxing, Mike, Nice combination by Nuri. This is where speed's getting over power. Nuri is keeping his foot just on the inside of Todd's because Todd's not jabbing. So Nuri's beating him to the jab. So he's going to keep his foot slightly inside Todd so that jab lands. And yeah, Shakur certainly has the real estate with which to work with if Chattel's not jabbing. And he can get on the inside and he gets out pretty quickly too, Scott. Yep, it's he, two, three punches, and he's right back out. He plays the angles very well. Now watch Nuri's foot. It stays inside of Todd's for the jab. Much different look here for Nuri Shakur, too, than in the fight against Eric Spicely. Spicely got him down early and finished the fight quickly. Well, Nuri most... Excuse me, Spicely most definitely wanted that fight in the clincher or in the ground with Todd's more content to stand up and bang 
And Nuri's fine with that. Right, this seems to play into Shakur's strengths as well, Scott. Oh, very much so. Nuri's a very good stand-up fighter. You can see how relaxed he is. And whether you got, most folks don't know, but in his corner, nice little clipping left hand by Todd. Yeah, that left definitely got Shakur's attention, even if it just grazed him. 2.45 to go in the second round. Another hard left by Chattel. Shakur strikes back with the right jab. Now works those combos again. Working the angles again, like you pointed out, Scott. Well, that's the second time that left hand, you know, kind of touched Nuri up. Nuri might want to keep that left up. He does like to hang it, kind of, you know, kind of Pernell Whitaker-ish. Yeah. And that works pretty well when you can roll your shoulder, but that height on Todd has that coming over. He's yeah, that height and reach is that. tough. Chattel fighting on a try for us under the tutelage also of Dave Keefe. There's a nice uppercut, right hook. Something's not thrown very often in MMA. <laughs> Lead uppercut. And that comes from quick feet. And as you just saw there, Todd fainted. And you saw what Nuri did. He braced and countered. Although he didn't throw, he braced and countered. And now he's bracing. He's just covering up. He wants Todd to go because Murray's a counter puncher. There he is, calling him on. Yeah, come on, throw your stuff, and he's going to find his opening and go. That's exactly what Shakur right, uh, wants, Scott. You're right. Big right hand there by Shakur. Now look at what happened. He said he's coming on. He wants to get in Todd's head. What do you got? Bring it. Todd, it would behoove Todd to stay at distance. Use this to his, stop pumping that jab or maybe some kicks. Yeah, we still haven't seen the jab. And the corner really hasn't called for it, which is surprising as well. There it nice is. Nice start to see it. Pump it out there. Even if it's not landed, pump it out there. One minute to go in the second round. Chattel in the camouflage chunks. Nuri Shakur in the white. Nice short left by Shakur. I think he caught Chattel. Chattel. Something happened here. Chattel turns his back, and that's it. It appears to be an eye injury, Scott. I'm the right eye. I think he just, he might have just broke something with that jab. Chattel just turned his back to the fight and essentially verbally taps out. I believe he just broke something with that jab. It doesn't look good to the naked eye, and I'm sure it feels you a know, lot it's worse. It's not a poke. Absolutely wasn't a poke. So that's it. Nuri Shakur gets the win. Surprising finish, Taj Chattel has to submit. Hard to hear what he's saying, but William Sukumtan is corner now trying to compress that right eye. But something caught him, Scott, and he turned his head, and Shakur, of course, kept going after him. As well he should. Right. You don't stop fighting till the referee makes you. But again, Dan Mergliata eventually stepped in. Now let's take a look at the replay here and try to find out what happened, see if we can pinpoint exactly well, there you see Chattel holding the eye, backing up, and then that's it. Chattel puts his hand up to say, I've had enough. If, if we could bring that back just about two or three more seconds. Right, I think we missed something in the beginning of the exchange that must have ruptured or disturbed something with Taj Chattel to cause him to quit on the, on the well, basically quit in the second round. So a surprising end. For Tosh Chattel here at CES MMA 26, Nuri Shakur gets the win. It was that left hand. It was hand. that short left that we referenced. That short left hand, right on the money. I, if you ask me, he either, maybe it's a, a, a retina issue. God, yeah. I hope that's not the case. Or maybe a, a orbital bone. But that left hand was planted. If you saw Nuri. Nuri caught him coming in. That that punch just rocked him. That was it. And it was a bit of a delayed reaction by Chattel. He kind of took a step back, and then a second later, yeah. put his hand up over that eye, turned his back. As you said, Shakur kept going in, not knowing the fight, or at least not seeing the impending end of the fight. Absolutely. Chattel verbally taps out, so to speak, and Dan yep. Mergliata steps in and puts a halt to the action. So that's going to do it. We'll send it down to Adam Palacio for the particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner with 408, round number two by TKO, verbal submission, Nuri Shakur.